1% of disease on this planet is connected to genetics, and 90% of disease or more is lifestyle and the psychology of love and fear. 90% and says, be in love and your body will be maintained and your immune system will be at peak performance. Be in fear and the game is over. In all biological organisms, there's something referred to as the biological imperative. The biological imperative can't be found by biologists. There's no place that say, oh, here it is in the cell. But what it represents is the drive to survive. When we start to feel that our life is threatened, it's not a conscious at first. It's a gut feeling. It's visceral. Something in my gut says something's not right. This is the biological imperative looking at your potential future in the world that you're living in. And what we really have to recognize is that people are feeling it in their gut. The world is not right. It's not right. And I go, well, this is wonderful because this is a feedback system that's saying the world in which you live is not in harmony with you. And therefore, what it really means is that we have to change how we influence the world in our own way. And it says that if we start to change and send out love instead of just receiving fear, that the love we send out has two, two aspects. Yes, there's an external consequence of love. It influences everyone and everything around me. There's a profoundly different chemistry if I have a thought of love coming into my body, which you can feel. When you're in love, you can feel it. Yes, your cells are bathing in chemistry of love. But when you have fear, it's a different chemical response. It gets you girded up for response protection walling you off from the outside. I don't want that thing to come in and take care of you know, my inside. And I say, well, what's the relevance? And the answer is very simple. The chemistry released by the brain in fear shuts down the growth mechanism of the body, shuts down the maintenance of the body to conserve energy. And the biggest thing is there's only one consequence, and that is disease and illness.